Hi, I'm Steve Dalton, and today we're going to talk about why questions and interviews. Specifically, why they're so important to answer well, and how to answer them easily and effectively. First, why are they so important? A 2015 study by Rachel Frieder showed that 30% of interviews are decided between minutes 5 and 15 in an interview. This is the interview period where you're typically asked what I call the whys, up to three questions that typically start with the word why. Namely, why this organization, why this role, and less commonly, why this sector. Because you know they'll be asked, and because they carry such heavy influence on your interview outcome, it's critical that you answer them effectively every time. Now, how do you answer why questions effectively every time? I recommend a technique called reason anecdote, which you can use for all why questions to ensure that your answers share three traits. They are authentic, they are specific, and they are informed. Authentic answers are unique to you, meaning no one else could give that same answer and have it make sense. Specific answers are unique to the employer, meaning you couldn't use an identical answer in a different interview. And informed answers demonstrate that you understand the nature of the job and the nature of the organization that you are pursuing. Now, to deliver an effective reason anecdote answer, first state to the interviewer the number of reasons that you have. Three reasons is a pretty good number, but anywhere between two and four is fine. You just need to be sure that you can complete your answer within two minutes, which is the industry standard for interview answers. Then, state your first reason. This could be anything from the company's collaborative culture, to a role's task variety, to a particular sector's fast pace of innovation, whatever is true to you. Then, support your reason with an anecdote. An anecdote is a short story about a real incident. The key is that it must be meaningful to you, helping to demonstrate why you find this reason motivating. Anecdotes can take many forms, but some of the most common ones are formative work or personal experiences you've had, informational meetings you've conducted, influential articles you've read, and subject matter experts that you've been inspired by. An example may help illustrate this concept. Let's say I was asked in an interview, why do you want to work for Darlington Electronics? Here's how my answer would start. There are three main reasons I want to work for Darlington. The first is the great people. I've had the pleasure of chatting on Zoom with one of your VPs, Finley Richards, and she said that she's worked for a lot of companies that have called themselves a family, but Darlington is the first one that actually lives up to that claim. That really left an impression on me since I very carefully choose my communities based on their shared values, from employers to schools to book clubs to volunteer groups. Remember, answers should be authentic, specific, and informed. I would then move to my second and third reasons. Now, you may also choose to finish your reason anecdote with a connection, like this. I think my genuine appreciation of both great people and great community will let me gain the trust of my work teams quickly and help me uphold Darlington's decency first credo. By adding a connection, you form what I call a rack statement for reason anecdote connection, which is useful both for answering why questions and for cover letters as well. In interviews, however, you likely won't be able to include a connection every time and still finish within two minutes. So save these connections for special reasons or reasons where the benefit to the employer may not be readily apparent. So in conclusion, know that why questions are a critical and influential component of every interview. And know that reason anecdote and the occasional connection can help you answer these effectively and efficiently.